Hey again, Upsilon. Uh, Ian here. I'm going to uh, be showing you a video of some of the replays from our last war against Icy River. First one here is Jesus uh, attacking demonic. Uh, sorry about the pop-ups in the chat. I'm still new to the video thing. Uh, he's going to be using hogs here. He does get 100% to spoil the raid. I'm just going to try and tell you why. Uh, first step was luring the clan castle. Uh, having wizards in there will fry your pigs to bacon real quick. Um, he does a good job here of luring out the clan castle. The only thing I would say, Jesus, um, try and have some barbs um, to distract that king so he doesn't kill three, four of your wizards and you can maybe have <clears throat> them to stay alive to clean up a little bit more of the um, backup around from the hogs. This is a good base to attack uh, with hogs. You can see there's not much space for any giant bombs or spring traps around. Uh, the little spaces he does have in the base look like they're for Teslas. And we'll get a view of whether or not they are or not. Uh, good job with the heal spell placements, uh, getting them ahead of the hogs. Uh, this third one here is going to be a little off because they went down to the archer tower, but with the duration of the uh, heal spells, it did get used quite readily. Uh, <clears throat> pretty low defenses um, actually for a Town Hall 9. Probably a little bit rushed um, since you didn't really have any gold cannons or many gold cannons or high level ultra towers. And so with the amount of hogs he has left, it's going to be able to clean up the base easily, especially with these last clan castle troops. And we'll get the 100% and add 3 stars to our total. So all in all, a good raid, a good base to attack uh, with hogs. Maybe just a little bit of an adjustment on killing the Barbarian King, but it did its job. Next attack is Lord. Coming up here in a second. Uh, he's going to be using hogs again. Um, he's going to get 100% again. You'll see this base is... Maybe a little less ideal for hogs with all the empty spaces he's got around there. Um, more probability for spring traps. Um, but the Town Hall 8, so lower defenses usually, uh, less defenses in general. So it's uh, not a bad pick either. Again, luring the clan castle. Um, <clears throat> dragons that do the splash damage will also be able to fry your hogs. Maybe not as much as some wizards, but they still will do a lot of damage, um, bringing plenty of backup troops to take out the dragon. And you'll see he's kind of using the um, the two-finger or like the dual deployment of the hogs, which from what I've seen usually works a little bit better. Um, that way your hogs aren't just standing there kind of decide what defense they're going to go after once the first few hogs have destroyed that first defense, I guess, so you can kind of maybe plan out your route a little bit better. <clears throat> Heal spells were great. Um, with the Town Hall 8, you only really have three wizard towers to deal with, which is usually where you want to put a lot of the heal spells. Um, luring out the Barbarian King is something he didn't do, but uh, against the Town Hall 8, he's only got a level 5 Barbarian King. It's not going to be that big of a deal, uh, especially with the level of hogs that he has. Um, it's not going to ruin the raid as much as the clan castle will. Because uh, he usually just chases them around and then, you know, maybe he'll get a kill a hog or two. But they're usually faster than him, than the Barbarian King, uh, especially if he's lower level. And then, uh, as you saw, once the defenses are down, they will go and kill him like any other troop. Uh, so the rest of it is just cleaning up. You'll see kind of where the the bottom is is where those big bombs were. Um, luckily, he didn't have them around any defenses or right next to any like major defenses, so that the hogs only really tripped and uh, maybe killed or injured just a few. So again, another great hog attack from Lord. Uh, getting the three stars, making sure we try and stay perfect or stay on top of things. Uh, third video here is a defense from nuclear. Uh, the attacker, excuse me, is going to be using hogs again. Um, he's got a solid base set up um, against hogs. You'll kind of see <clears throat> what happens here. He's got kind of a weird strategy slash army composition. 
He kind of just spams everything once in a while. Having that clan castle in the center there is going to provide uh, a lot of protection for it and keep all of his clan castle troops in there. Make a hard time luring out. Uh, big bomb went off right there. Um, unfortunately, the hogs kind of just the way he deployed them in that sporadic fashion kind of just sent them all over the place. So they didn't really have a chance to deploy what I feel is a double big bomb. Um, all he had, he had archers and a few wizards, and so when those clump up and when those wizards get a hold of them, um, they might as well just have never been deployed in the first place. <clears throat> so by the time his hogs are actually killed off, he's only got 32%. Uh, Archer Queen is banging at a wall. He's got a dragon maybe from the clan castle. Um, probably not the best idea for uh, a hog raid. I would say either more hogs or some wizards for cleanup. You also see that top one there was definitely one that he deployed himself, so that was a again a weird choice. Um, again for hogs, the you ideally maybe want wizards. The dragons are kind of slow; they have a slow fire rate. Uh, they do go for all sorts of different buildings. They don't have a favorite target, but not the greatest. So you see, he missed with the heal spell on that dragon, which might have got him a little bit more, but in the end. Nuclear gets the defense. Fourth video is myself doing a go wee wee attack. Uh, I'm not sure why my video cut out in the top and bottom. I need to fix it as well as the audio. So here I'm luring both those heroes. Uh, you'll see here I maybe need to bring some more barbarians or some other troops. Um, we're luring them out. I get a, I get the heroes. I'm not too worried about the clan castle because it's very hard to get to. Uh, with a go wee wee, you kind of don't really have to, you don't have to worry about them as much as maybe as a hog attack. So here you see what I was talking about. The Barbarian King goes for my witches, which isn't ideal. The wizards are able to kill him off before he gets two of them, but maybe before he gets the last one at least. Um, but I need to make sure that he starts targeting barbarians and or archers so he doesn't kill my witches and I get more skeletons and have a little bit more success with the raid or consistent success. Uh, I've got three golems this raid, so I kind of spread them out, make sure they're tanking the damage for these wizards. You see the clan castle come out. What kind of you don't really have to worry about the clan castle with this is because with those wizards that do splash damage, you'll see right there on the bottom corner of those skull walls that all their clan castle troops pretty much got taken out. Uh, Drop the raid spell. It probably wasn't the best place raid spell. I probably should have had up and to the right a little bit more. Um, Wall breakers did a great job. He didn't have great wall um, strength or even great wall, the, I guess, design. <clears throat> so um, right there, I'm pretty much just dropping rage spells, making sure I get the town hall, making sure I get the 50%. Um, using the Arch Queen ability, using the Barbarian King ability, and uh, I ended up with 63% in this raid, which is good. Uh, this was a, something a base that was probably a little bit more fit for a go wee wee attack. Um, He's got some higher level, highish level defenses. It looks like pretty much max Town Hall 8 defenses. But the way it's spread out and um, just the overall size of the base made it good uh, for a Go Weeby instead of a Hawk. So there you have it. Let me know what you think.